The Boeing 737 MAX 10 remains uncertified after years of delays. Yet, Alaska Airlines just ordered 105 of them in January 2026. The aircraft does not have Federal Aviation Administration approval to carry passengers. Boeing project certification later in 2026. This single variant could determine whether Boeing regains its position against Airbus. The stakes have never been higher. The Boeing 737 MAX 10 represents the largest member of the 737 family. The aircraft measures 143 feet 8 inches in length. This extends 66 inches beyond the 737 MAX 9. Maximum seating capacity reaches 230 passengers compared to 220 for the MAX 9 and 210 for the MAX 8. Boeing launched the variant in 2017 with expectations of smooth certification following the MAX 9 development path. Certification has not arrived. The Federal Aviation Administration began formal review of the MAX 10 systems on December 12, 2025. Boeing CEO Kelly Ortberg stated the company aims for certification in 2026, saying, We are continuing to mature the technical solution for engine anti-ice and the certification path, in a July 2025 memo to employees. Progress has taken longer than Boeing anticipated. The engine anti-ice system creates the primary certification obstacle. The CFM Leap 1B engines powering all 737 MAX variants include an anti-ice mechanism designed to prevent ice buildup on engine inlets during flight. Testing revealed that running this system in dry air for more than five minutes causes overheating in the carbon composite engine inlet. Temperatures can damage the inlet structure or cause debris to detach. The Federal Aviation Administration issued a directive in August 2023 addressing this concern for in-service MAX 8 and MAX 9 aircraft. The directive requires pilots to activate the anti-ice system only when flying in icing conditions or expecting them. Boeing cannot certify the MAX 7 and MAX 10 with this limitation. The company must redesign the system to eliminate overheating risks under all operational conditions. Boeing initially projected completion within one year from January 2024. That timeline expired without resolution. The engineering design did not yield results in the anticipated timeframe. Boeing submitted a redesigned solution to the Federal Aviation Administration for review in late 2025. The company conducted more than 3,000 hours of lab testing and analysis to develop the final design changes. The Federal Aviation Administration also evaluates a redesigned crew alerting system. Boeing proposed an enhanced angle of attack system, allowing flight crews to suppress stall and overspeed alerts in specific abnormal scenarios. This modification stems from lessons learned after two fatal MAX crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia during 2018 and 2019. Those accidents killed 346 people and resulted in a 20-month global grounding of the MAX fleet. Investigators determined that crews received limited or conflicting information as the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system repeatedly activated and forced the nose down. Congress mandated improvements to cockpit alerting across commercial aircraft following these crashes. Boeing must retrofit the revised alerting architecture across the entire MAX fleet. The Federal Aviation Administration stated it will monitor Boeing's efforts to provide airlines with service bulletins and technical data needed to comply with future retrofit requirements. This represents comprehensive review beyond initial MAX 10 certification. Alaska Airlines placed its largest aircraft order ever on January 7, 2026. The carrier ordered 105 Boeing 737 MAX 10 jets with options for 35 additional aircraft. Alaska Air Group CEO Ben Minicucci described the purchase as building on the foundation for steady and sustained growth, saying, these planes will fuel our expansion to more destinations across the globe and ensure our guests travel aboard the newest and most fuel-efficient and state-of-the-art aircraft. Alaska currently operates 248 Boeing 737 aircraft, including 94 MAX variants. This order brings Alaska's total 737 MAX backlog to 174 aircraft. Alaska expects first MAX 10 deliveries in 2027 pending certification approval. The MAX 10 offers airlines the lowest cost per seat of any single-aisle airplane according to Boeing specifications. Airlines view this combination as critical for high-density domestic routes where margins depend on efficiency.
the MAX-10 competes directly with the Airbus A321neo. Airbus has captured significant market share in this segment, while Boeing's MAX-10 remains uncertified. WestJet serves as the MAX-10 launch customer, expecting aircraft delivery in late 2026. Southwest Airlines anticipates MAX-7 certification by August 2026. More than 1,500 unfilled orders exist for the 737 MAX-7 and MAX-10 combined. Boeing faces heightened Federal Aviation Administration oversight following the January 2024 door plug incident on a MAX-9. The Federal Aviation Administration imposed a production cap limiting Boeing to 38 MAX aircraft monthly. The agency raised this cap to 42 monthly in October 2025 after Boeing implemented quality control improvements. Boeing plans to establish MAX-10 production in Everett, Washington after certification. Ortberg explained that MAX-10 requires more manufacturing time than other variants. The MAX-10 certification represents a critical test for Boeing's recovery. Boeing delivered 150 aircraft in the second quarter of 2025. The company aims for steady production increases pending Federal Aviation Administration approval. Airlines ordering the MAX-10 demonstrate confidence in Boeing's ability to meet certification requirements. Alaska's January 2026 order signals this confidence two years after the door plug incident. Certification timing remains conditional on Boeing satisfying every Federal Aviation Administration requirement. No fixed approval dates exist. Boeing must demonstrate that redesigned systems function safely under all operational conditions. Any discovered issues during evaluation could extend certification beyond current 2026 projections. The MAX-10 will reshape airline seating strategies if certification succeeds. Carriers can operate 230-seat narrow-body jets on routes previously requiring wide-body aircraft or multiple daily frequencies. This capability matters most at slot-constrained airports where airlines cannot add flights. Higher passenger counts per departure improve economics without requiring additional gate access or takeoff slots. Airlines betting on MAX-10 capacity assume Boeing will deliver certified aircraft matching performance projections. If the MAX-10 fails certification or encounters further delays, consequences extend beyond Boeing. Airlines holding orders face fleet planning disruptions affecting route networks through the 2030s. More than 1,500 unfilled orders remain in limbo. Carriers cannot expand high-density routes or retire aging aircraft on schedule without MAX-10 deliveries. Airbus gains additional competitive advantage in the high-capacity single-aisle segment. The A321neo family already holds approximately 60% of orders in this category. Boeing's narrow-body market position weakens further against A321neo dominance. United Airlines, Southwest Airlines, Ryanair, and WestJet all depend on MAX-10 certification to execute fleet modernization plans. Delayed certification forces these carriers to extend operations of less efficient aircraft. The stakes encompass Boeing's financial recovery, airline operational efficiency, competitive balance between manufacturers, and the structure of global narrow-body aviation markets through 2035.